Thank you. It's great to see so many of you here, and I'm also um, very happy to see quite a few I Occupy in Sussex House placards. Um, I was one of dozens who occupied Sussex House, the, the main administrative building uh, at Sussex University, a couple of weeks ago. And it was the uh, one of three occupations we've had in the last month at Sussex University as part of a very broad and a militant student movement that's fighting against the cuts proposed at Sussex, which include uh, 115 job redundancies. Now, uh, the brutal cuts at Sussex are part of a, a national picture of cutbacks, of course, and. Um, it's very encouraging to see the level of solidarity from students and workers across the country as we all try and fight against these, these cuts. Um, now the Sussex House occupation ended with peaceful protesters being beaten back and pushed to the ground by riot police. It also resulted in the suspension of six students. And this is the kind, these are the kind of tactics that managements across the country are adopting to, uh, to, to push us back and to force us to hide in the shadows, but we won't do that. We'll continue fighting. And yesterday, sorry, on Thursday at Sussex, the suspended six were reinstated on the same day. <laughs> as management were forced to back down, on the same day that the UCU took strike action off the back of an incredibly impressive ballot where 81% of UCU members voted and 76% voted for strike action. And this is the kind of action that we need, and it's the kind of action that we're going to see much more of in the coming weeks. Now, Thursday's day of, of, of victories followed on from a very impressive turnout at an emergency general meeting of the Students' Union at Sussex, where we had 900 people in a hall. 100 people had to be turned away and a vote of no confidence in management was passed. And this is the kind of thing we want to be seeing at universities across the country. We have to say to management that we won't accept their cuts and that we'll fight back and that together we can defeat them. Now, the next few weeks at Sussex are going to be very important as they are across the country. We're going to be pushing for more strike action more occupations, and until management listens to us and takes the redundancies out of the picture and listens to what we're saying and listens to our alternative vision uh, of, of education and a future for all the students across this country, then we will keep on fighting, we will keep on occupying, and the UCU will keep on striking. Thank you very much.